In season one, we went on the road in our first matchup versus Marquette and took care of business in overtime in a thriller as Rodney Ross, the surprise of that season, who came off of the bench, six-string receiver, gets the game-winning catch. But then in season two, Marquette got their revenge. Shane Blue ran all over us, and we just cannot stop him in the end. He was just unstoppable as Marquette took round two. So here we are, back at round three. What's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ. And this has been an interesting season as we both sit here at four and three. But Marquette has one of the best offenses in the nation, number one passing offense. But last game, we came away with some news. Nathan Beaver is out with an abdominal strain. Take a look at this play. On this play, he gets rid of it and gets a shot to the ribs, and he strained his abdominal muscle, and now he is going to be out for this game. So we are going to have to go with Bo in this game as we take on a kind of regressing Marquette defense. But take a look at their offense. They are loaded with talent. Shane Blue at running back, Warwick as well, and Joel Cook is their leader on defense. He is pretty much their statistical category leader in pretty much every defensive back category, interceptions, pass deflections, and forced fumbles. Howard Vinson did transfer over to Marquette, but he has struggled to see the field at all. He has no catches, and it just doesn't seem like this is his year to get in. So maybe he will have to sit out this season and maybe look to get on the field next year. So here we are. Let's get this game three, round three underway as Bo Bridges will take the field. Hasn't even thrown for 250 yards this season. Hasn't even thrown for a touchdown at all, and he's got an interception to his name as well so this is going to be a tough game as we do play for the first time at home versus marquette so let's get this game underway here is bridges with the throw out to the right side he's got marlin yarbrough that's going to be a gain of nine to start it out so here's a handoff this time jabari blaze fighting up the middle breaking a tackle jabari has taken that year two leap here in this offense it's official as he has not given the reins back to jacoby beck since beck got injured so here's a throw across the middle of the field. That's Doug Johnson. He's got 16 yards holding on to it across the middle of the field. That's a first down. So here is Bridges. Quick throw across the middle. Looking good early. He's got Chris Coretta this time. And he's getting about a gain of 13 as the big tight end, the sophomore, gets the catch and run as D uh, Doug Johnson gets the catch across to the right side. He takes a big hit, bringing it to a second and four. So counter play this time. Blaze fighting up the middle. He's got a gain of six on that carry. As we're looking good so far on this first drive. Bo Bridge is looking good after that throw, but there's a throw out to the right side. He missed Rodney Ross. The timing was just off on that throw. And that brings it to a third and 10. Bridges trying to go to the end zone. He overthrows his man Coretta. Maybe could have had a man in the end zone on that one. Instead, we settle for three on that first drive. So out comes the senior Colbert. Marquette has three senior quarterbacks on their roster, and next year, this offense is gonna look different as they're graduating all three. So here's Colbert, throw to the left side. He's got Richard Fields on a third down pass, and that's a gain of five, but they're gonna have to punt the ball away as out comes Bo Bridges and this White Tails offense. Quick throw out to the left side. Doug Johnson, he's getting a lot of room upfield. A gain of 25. Doug Johnson transferring over from defense over to offense. It seems like it's been a good fit so far as he hasn't put up the big stats, but when you need him, he's always there. So here is Blaze getting in on the action. He's got a gain of seven up the middle as we move the ball across the 50-yard line. Bo Bridges trying to scramble out with his legs to the right. He's going to lob it over the right side, and that's going to be Brett Hill. The transfer 
from Juco, the junior. I love him, what he brings to this game, and I definitely like how he can get open from the slot position. So here's Chris Coretta putting on a move. He's getting inside the 10-yard line, tackled from behind. And now we are inside the 10-yard line looking to take this lead here in the first quarter, extending this lead. Here's a throw to the right side. It's Chris Coretta again, five yards out. Touchdown, Bo Bridges is looking good. In this game starting, that's his first passing touchdown of the season. So can we continue this good defense? Here is Colbert this time. He's gonna scramble out to the right side. He's got a lot of room. He's gonna break a tackle and get to about the 45 yard line. That's a gain of 17. So here is Colbert once again. He's gonna scramble up the middle, pick up a block downfield and throw off. That's Elgin Lloyd trying to make the tackle in the secondary, but he can't. But he's brought down for a gain of 16. So here is Colbert this time, dumping it off to Shane Blue. He's got a big gain of about 15 yards. And now Marquette is in business. Remember they had Jalen Turd at quarterback last year. This year, Colbert is their quarterback back for, from injury last season as Garrett Colbert was injured for part of the season last year. That's partly why we saw Turd as here is Colbert on the next play, running out to the left side. He's gonna get stopped behind the line. That's Sha Shaq Royal, our number one recruit in season one. He's making a play behind the line, bringing it to a second and 13. So here's Garrett Colbert, throw to the end zone. Wide open is Preston Warwick, 15 yards, touchdown. Blown coverage that time by our safety, Cam Duvano. And that's the thing, he had a really good debut. Remember that two interception game? And now, ever since then, well, hasn't been doing well at all. He's been giving up a lot of yards and coverage. And I'm gonna be looking to kind of rotate him out along with uh, Eduardo back there. I'll have to see, I'm not really sure. Actually, that's Eddie McMahon. Here on a third and six, here from the shotgun. Here is Bo Bridges, throw across the middle. He's got Rodney Ross once again getting open across the middle of the field for a 16-yard gain. Marquette knows Rodney Ross well. Remember, in season one, he made the game-winning catch. So here is Chris Coretta getting back into the action. Look at him fighting forward to about the 15-yard line. Coretta's getting the ball a lot early and often in this game. So here is Jabari Blaze starting to run the ball some more. Five yards on that one as we get it under center here at the 10. Throw across the middle. It's Marlon Yarbrough. We might have had a touchdown by Chris Coretta. Wide open over the middle of the field. But we'll take the first down. First and goal. Throw across the middle. It is going to be Marlon Yarbrough. But take a look. There is a flag on the play. How is there a holding with that quick of a pass? and we lose the yards as maybe that throw to Chris Coretta would have mattered after all. Here's a throw across the middle on the arrow route. That is Jabari Blaze, gain of seven. So Bridges, throw to the right side. He's got Brett Hill, but he's gonna get tackled before the end zone. And that's only a gain of three, and we do have to settle for the field goal. So that penalty does come back to haunt us. Here is Marquette back out onto the field. Nate Henderson, their tight end, he's got a gain of 16. So now past the 50 yard line, here's a throw to the left side. That's Brock, but it's broken up by James Chaney, the sophomore middle linebacker as they bring it to a second and 10 now. Three minutes left here in the second quarter. Colbert scrambling out to the right side. He's got a lot of room. He's gonna get tackled by Elgin Lloyd, but it's 11 yards enough for a first down. So first and 10 at about the 33 yard line. Colbert, he's gonna buy some time, throwing the ball deep down the left sideline. It. It's gonna be picked off. Ryan Robinson, he's coming through in the clutch. Look at this, we sent a blitz from the safety position, moved over Ryan Robinson to the left half of the field. He had that whole half of the field and he comes away with the interception. But back out on the next drive, trying to get going on the run game. And Marquette showing up on that play, bringing it to a third and 11, throw to the right side. Bo Bridges almost makes a mistake and gives it right back. And we have to punt the ball away back to Marquette. So now no time goes off the clock on that drive, but here is Shane Blue on the carry up the middle, breaks a tackle. He breaks another one and gets tripped up from behind by Brad Robinson. 
And wow, what a big run by Shane Blue. Draw play, giving it right back to him. He's getting tackled from behind again, but another big gain of 10. And now they are inside the five yard line as Shane Blue cannot be stopped on this drive, but a run out to left side on a speed option and Garrett Colbert gets tackled behind the line by Tucker Okonkwo. So second and goal, this time Colbert. He's gonna dump it off to the right side. That's Henderson, he's getting in seven yards out. For the touchdown, Garrett Colbert with his second passing touchdown of the first half. So now we get the ball back here, trying to put some points on the board. We do have all three timeouts. Here's Chris Coretta getting up field and down the sideline gain of about 13. So now past the 50 yard line, Bo Bridges throw out to the middle of the field. That is gonna be Jabari Blaze out of the backfield. He's got a gain of 11. And now we're in business, getting moving closer to the uh, field goal range. Here is Bridges, throw across the middle. He's got Rodney Ross, who's gonna try to fight forward. Only picks up a gain of five. And we are going to settle for the long field goal to get some points on the board, and it's gonna be good. But this second half is gonna be shaping up to be a good one. 16 to 14, it's been neck and neck. I'm excited. Let's see what the second half has in store. So here we go to start the second half. Our defense played well that first possession, but we've been giving up scores on each one of their drives, and they've been moving the ball. Here is Garrett Colbert, this time scrambling out to the right side, and Elgin Lloyd just straight up misses him on that one. He was out there to get him, and he just lets Garrett Colbert run right past him. So now second and 10, Colbert scrambling out to the right side. He breaks the tackle, throws a stiff arm. He's getting up field to about the 35. We even had a bunch of guys over there containing him and he still breaks free. This time handoff, Shane Blue, he's getting a first down gain of seven as our rush defense is just not doing good this game. So here is Shane Blue, breaks a tackle, breaks another one. He's got an easy gain of seven. And I don't know what's up with this defense. We're just not wrapping up in this game. So Colbert, throw to the left side. He's got his receiver, Chris Brock, 14 yards for him. As now they are inside the five. Here's a handoff, Shane Blue breaks a tackle and we had the tackle in the backfield. James Chaney cannot complete the tackle. And now they are in for the touchdown. And man, it's 20 to 16, they came back. So here is Jacoby Beck, back out on the next drive, trying to get the draw play going. That's not gonna work. That's a loss of two. So under center, quick throw across the middle. It's Javon Oliver, our tight end in season one after kind of taking a step back to Chris Coretta, a more athletic tight end that time. And now he gets the 12 yard gain for a first down. Followed up by a throw to the right side. That's Rodney Ross. That was a pinpoint throw that time by Bo Bridges. And it's a first down, gain of 19. So handoff up the middle. Here is Blaze fighting up the up the middle. He's gonna get tackled by Whitfield once again. So third and six, five wide this time. Bridges, he's gonna throw across the middle. He's got Doug Johnson just overthrown. As maybe that was a good throw because it maybe if that was on the money, it could have been picked off. So we do settle for the field goal, making it a 20 to 19 game. As here is Marquette trying to get the screen game going. Here is Shane Blue. On a second and long, only a gain of four. So trips to the left side. Here is Colbert, throw across the middle. It's gonna be Preston Warwick, but he's gonna get tackled before the first down marker. And we do get them to punt the ball away as now we have an opportunity to score and take this lead. So here is Jabari Blaze on the next pat, on the next play. He, here he is getting a gain of nine as now we get it to a second and one. Handoff, up the middle, gain of six, Jabari Blaze. So now here we are once again as this clock does continue to wind down. Jacoby Beck breaks out to the right side. He's getting tackled for only a gain of five as now we bring it to a third and six. Here is Bo Bridges, throw to the right side. That one is gonna be incomplete. How did he miss that throw to Doug Johnson? But we're gonna be aggressive here. Line up to go for it. Fourth and six. They're sending a blitz. Throw to the right, left side. It's gonna be deflected. We had a man on the sideline wide open. That's Marlon Yarbrough. We may have missed an opportunity to move the chains. 
So now we move on to the fourth quarter. Here is Bruh. Shane Blue getting a carry to start it out. He's breaking free. It's a touchdown. Easy money for Shane Blue, 46 yards up the middle. And take a look. I mean, he just makes one cut. Boom, he's gone. And Cam Duvano, once again, like I said, he's just making freshman mistakes. And maybe we jumped the gun a little bit starting the freshman. We could have easily made him just a rotational piece as we throw on the next drive and it's going to be picked off by Cook and we highlighted Cook before the start of this game but take a look that throw was actually to Chris Coretta and it somehow ended up way over by Brett Hill and Bo Bridges has just been off these last couple of drives as he's had a couple of throws where it's just been not even close so here is Garrett Colbert on the next following drive throw across the middle it's going to be Brock with the catch on a third and 13. They get a gain of 32. And that's a big first down here for Marquette. Throw across the middle. It's going to be Fields again. He's wide open as we tried to send the blitz, leaving the middle of the field wide open. And now they bring it to a third and six. Colbert, screen pass out to the right side. They're going to throw it that way. He's got Shane Blue, who's going to kind of get tackled at about the 10 yard line. Almost broke that free. And that's a nice tackle by the true freshman. Brad Robinson. But they do kick the field goal, making it a two-score game. Here is Bo Bridges with the throw to the right side. He's got Chris Coretta. That is a gain of 18. As now we move the ball close to the 50 here. Five minutes left. Throw to the left side. It's almost picked off. Malcolm Bell is there for the deflection. And now we get it to a third and 10 here. Trying to show some signs of life. Here is Brent Hill fighting forward. He's got a gain of nine. And it's a fourth and one. We got to go for it here. Down by two scores. Jabari Blaze. He's going to get the handoff. He's going to fight forward. He's got the first down. And a little bit more. That is a gain of eight. But we do only have four and a half minutes left. So here's Bo Bridges from the shotgun. He misses the running back out of the backfield. And gets tripped up from behind. That's a sack. And David Smith gets there to Bo. So now, second and 18, here's Bo Bridges. Gonna run out to the right side and throw that way and it's gonna be picked off by Smith. Remember, we had this throw earlier where Brett Hill goes upfield, but this time, Bo Bridges just did not have enough arm on it. And that one does kind of seal this game up as we go down officially by 14 and on the next possession, we throw to, to the left side. And it's picked off by Cook and Marquette takes round three here in this rivalry as this will help them on their side of the bra of the conference as they're going to be looking to make the conference championship for the first time here in their school history. But they actually go on to win this game by 21-40 to 19. We just collapse there in the fourth quarter. And Bo Bridges threw the ball 58 times. Way too many times to be throwing the ball for him. And he ends up throwing three interceptions. And his accuracy just got worse as the game went on, which is actually really funny. But we end up losing this game. Chris Coretta goes 8 for 88. A touchdown as well. Yarbrough doesn't have another big receiving game. He's definitely taken a step back here in his junior season. Going to be looking to bounce back strong towards the end of the season and be a leader because that's what he is. We all still know he is the leader. Cam Duvano did kind of lead our team in tackles. He was second or third on our team in tackles, but he just makes a lot of blunders there at safety, especially coming up and making tackles. We're definitely going to have to address that going forward Preston Warwick doesn't even have a big game but he does do well enough for them you know he didn't really need to do anything so we look at recruiting really quick and looking at our commits we do have five of our I think that's six commits to start it out but then we get a little bit of a gem here a one-star guard Frank Duncan he started out at 54 overall goes up to 63 so he's just an interesting lineman out of Minnesota. Remember, Minnesota is a pipeline state of ours. So we are going to try and get him. And then we go after Juco corner Sean Triplett. We definitely need help in our secondary. And I think, you know, sometimes we do need that extra boost because 
I see sometimes our defensive backs are giving up big plays, and we ju you just can't use – you can't have uh, enough depth there in the secondary. So we are going to be moving on to the next couple of games. We have four games left in the season. Let's try to – take care of business on our on our side of the conference and hopefully come away with wins to end the season so hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go